In three weeks, this body camera footage will once again dominate the news in Cincinnati. The video shows then UC police officer Ray Tenzing shooting and killing Sam DeBose during a traffic stop in the summer of 2015. Tenzing was charged with murder. He claims the shooting happened in self-defense. Tenzing's first trial ended in November when a jury was unable to reach a verdict. Today, the 27-year-old returned to court to see if Judge Leslie Giz would rule on a defense motion to keep this t-shirt out of the second trial. Tenzing was wearing the shirt featuring a Confederate flag under his uniform on the day he killed DeBose. And if the t-shirt, you know, isn't in, then I feel like you're going to have the community um, having a problem with the fact that it's not there. Donetta Bailey with the Black Lawyers Association of Cincinnati says Judge Giz has to weigh the shirt's relevance against its potential to prejudice jurors who will decide Tenzing's guilt or innocence. I think it, it goes down to whether or not you really believe that, that, that race and, you know, implicit bias are at issue in this case. Um, and so on one hand, the law says that you can let anything in that's relevant, but it can't be too prejudicial that it overshadows the reason why it's here. Judge Giz made no decision on the t-shirt today, nor did she decide on a defense request to challenge the qualifications of a video analyst who testified for the state during Tenzing's first trial. Giz scheduled a hearing on both issues for May 26, one day after the start of jury selection. Now, so far, prosecutors have not filed any motions regarding uh, marijuana that was in Sam DeBose's car or about his health and about his past. With just three weeks to go, Bailey believes there's still time to do so, but she's surprised that those similar motions filed before the first trial haven't already been filed this time. Reporting live downtown, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.